Howdy my peeps and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a gouache painting but before we get into the video I would like to give a shout out to Mac Fifth who is the comment of the week. I hope I pronounce your username right. Um, if I didn't I'm sorry but thank you so much for your comment. If you would like to be the comment of the week all you have to do is comment on any video that could have been you. I'm also on Patreon and I um yeah by the time you're watching this on YouTube the wallpaper well just everything for the month of april should be up and next month's poll should be up as well well it is up already but at the time i'm saying this so you can head over there if you'd like to get like early access to videos and wallpapers and um a monthly studio vlog and all that jazz if you want to but anyways on to um the painting so like i mentioned it's a gouache painting i don't um hold up how to say this me and gouache we don't um we don't get along sometimes um i've documented that on my channel before i'm gonna put that up in the i cards if you want to see me struggle with gouache and also put one up there of me not struggling with gouache but sometimes me and gouache we just we just don't see eye to eye and you know i don't well i kind of know what it is one it's a newer medium for me i don't really like, I, I work with watercolors more often, and I've worked with watercolors longer than I've worked with gouache. I only got into gouache, I think, last year, um, early last year, so, you know, not an expert, still learning some things, and even though I do have it now, I don't use it that often, so there's a lot that I don't know, and I struggle with it sometimes. But this time, things went suspiciously well. Um... So praise be to God for that one, because oh my goodness, I'd be out here struggling with this gouache. The thing that I really struggle with is the layering of it, because I am using like regular gouache, I'm not using acrylic gouache. Acrylic gouache is such that once you put a layer down, after it dries, it's there, it's not going anywhere. However, with the type of gouache that I'm using, um, it will go somewhere. It will get up and leave on you, so... Um, I have to really watch out for that and make sure I don't thin out my paint too much so that um, the water won't reactivate the paint underneath and um, resurrect it. So <laughs> um, that's like one of the main things I struggle with it. Also there's like this color shift thing that happens um, which uh, I haven't really, well I don't know, I didn't really struggle with it as much this time around so thankful for that one because oh my goodness that's also something i struggle with sometimes but this time it wasn't an issue and it was like you know like when you're doing something and it's just like you're just thinking like this is going a little too well something's gonna happen at some point except that thing never happened so i mean what can i say except thank the lord because oh my goodness but anyways um for this drawing, I'm drawing a Muslim lady in this fancy gold dress with her headpiece. Um, and I wanted to paint this for the month of Ramadan. We're currently in the month of Ramadan, if you don't know what that is. Um, to really simplify it a lot, um, it's basically a month when Muslims um, fast, so no food or water during the daylight hours. Um, also given charity. Um, don't argue with other people and each other and just like things like that and it's just a also read the Quran read the entire Quran um, so it's just like a really nice spiritual time for Muslims and um, at the time of recording this this is the first week I think today is day four when I'm um, recording this um, so we're really early on in it it's a 30-day thing so yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like really happy about that and excited about that. And I really wanted to celebrate that by painting a picture just for Ramadan. To really, you know, celebrate this joyous occasion. Um, and I really wanted to use, because I don't know why, actually now that I think about it, I don't know why. But like, if you have ever seen like, um... I don't know, just for some reason like I associate, now I know why it is. I didn't even tell you what the thing is, but now I know why what I'm about to say is the way that it is. Okay, so 
um, it's all Karans aren't the same color, obviously, but my Karan is um, green with, um, well, it's not gold. <laughs> it's just yellow. It's like a paperback Karan. So it's like green and yellow. So whenever I think of that, I just, I don't know, just like, I just associate Islam with those colors. Also red and white because that's the color of our flag in the nice of Islam. But I really wanted to work with green and yellow this time around. I have done a picture of Muslims with a, um, it was the flag in the background, so it was um, red and white. So I've done that before and I um, didn't want to really want to, hold that, what is language right now? <laughs> I didn't want to do that again. I wanted to, you know, do something new, you know, shake it up a little bit. So I used the other colors that I associate with this one, which like I just mentioned, are green and yellow. Um, so, I just had like this idea of this lady with this like gold outfit and this flat green background. I was like, this, this is going to be hopefully good. And fortunately it, it was. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like really happy about how this painting turned out. Like I said, gouache and me, we, we, we fighting all the time. So like when it turns out good, I'm just like really excited about it. So I. I'm sorry if that's, actually I'm not sorry because I am, I can't help the fact that I'm happy right now. Like, and if you didn't want me to be happy, now I have questions for you. Why? Are you, are you good? Anyways, so yeah, that's, I don't really have much else to say. Mm, I guess I do. <laughs> I'm like super hyped right now. Um, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and um, I don't know if it's because of Ramadan or if it's because I um, unintentionally locked myself in my room with paint fumes, which pro yeah, don't do that. Do not recommend. I should have opened the doors, but I did not. And uh, yeah, I didn't, it didn't hit me until when I was finished and it was too late. And I was like, hmm, probably shouldn't have done that. But alas, it was too late. But anyways, I really like how her face turned out. Um, that's like the main thing that I struggle with when it comes to gouache because whenever I'm doing uh, my clothes and stuff, the colors are mostly flat and not only that, but like I don't mind as much if the colors aren't exactly what I want them to be because, and I mean, I don't know, I guess it's, I guess you would just say it's like not as important to me. Um, I mean, it depends. Sometimes it is important because sometimes I want a specific color because it goes with this other color. But normally I'm not super worried about um, like um, shading and all that stuff except I kind of was this time because I wanted this like sh shadow area between her. This is the shadow area that I'm putting down now. I wanted that to be a nice smooth gradient. And there were some issues with her headpiece that I was having because I was trying to do gradient. So I guess what I just said doesn't always apply. But anyways, um, whenever I'm working with gouache I really like to make sure that the face looks nice because I would consider myself to be a character artist first so I like for my faces to look nice and I like them to be nice and blended um, and that's like the main thing that I struggle with with gouache um, like I mentioned the layering is an issue for me and uh, when I try to blend things sometimes they just like the layer underneath it just it wants to it wants to be the star of the show and it's just like you had your time you had your moment um please stop but it won't stop because it likes to be reactivated by water so this was the paint i chose i can blame no one but myself but anyways um i didn't struggle as much with that um like i mentioned earlier i was trying not to dilute my paint too much um, when I was layering, which helped a ton. Another thing I didn't do was I didn't wait for each layer to dry, which was something that I would do. Well, I wouldn't necessarily wait. I would just um, use my little heat tool to dry the paint, and then I would go over with the second layer or whatever layer I was on. Didn't do that this time. Instead, I just continued to layer, even though the paint underneath wasn't quite dry, and I think that helped a lot with blending. And as I was doing that, I remembered I did see a tutorial at some point, somewhere, I don't remember by who I... Yeah, I don't know who, who made that, so I can't link it anywhere, but anyways, about how to blend gouache, and I remember something about it being best to blend it when it's 
it's still kind of wet so it's like don't quote me on that like you said completely new to this um and this is like a distant memory and i can't even remember exactly who said it or what they said but it was something along those lines and if if that is true what i just said if i did actually see that at some point um it did seem to work so now i know don't dry in between layers so that's nice well don't dry in between layers when i'm trying to blend well i mean it depends because at some point um um because i actually had to like do this in two sessions because my camera battery died on me but anyways um and i came back and was still able to blend on some some areas so i guess that rule doesn't always apply um i'm still learning you'll have to be patient with me but anyways we're pretty much at the end here not pretty much we are at the end um this was really fun i had a lot of fun with this i like how it turned out you could probably tell by how hyper i am hyper oh i just can't speak right now but anyways this is how it turned out i really like the detailing on her dress i think that's really nice and i like how her face turned out i just like it so much but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video shout out to my patrons turtle bun buns ariana and kelsey um Thank you so much for being my patrons. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Oh my goodness. I'm also on Instagram and I'm also on Coffee and more recently I'm on Artful. So this is what that looks like. You can head over there if you want to. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.